This is a full tutorial and demo of how Auto Gmail works. Um, so first thing you want to do is obviously uh, sign up. I will choose to sign up with uh, my Vocal uh, email account, which is a company I run. Um, so here you are logged in. Auto Gmail very quickly tells you what you need to do. First, you'll have to start a trial. In order to use the app, you'll have to connect your inbox um, and then you need to train the AI. This is because Auto Gmail uses all the emails you've sent in the past as context to know how to answer, making it sort of the best AI email assistant you can think of because it knows everything about you. Um, so let's go through each of those steps as quickly as we can. All right, I have started my trial and now we have two steps left, uh, which is to connect the inbox. Here you will get a warning um, by Gmail. This is because we haven't been approved by Gmail yet. The whole approval process costs $20,000 um, and takes a few months. So we're on our way there, but not there yet. You'll have to click on advanced um, and go to auto Gmail um, to bypass the, the warning and then give us access to your inbox. The AI needs this, of course, um, to train on your data. Security-wise, everything is encrypted, um, so nothing to worry there. Um, finally, you have to train your AI. This basically means letting Auto Gmail go through your email history and feed on that data to understand who you are, how you work, and so on. All right, Auto Gmail is now fully set up and will automatically start to write drafts uh, for emails in my inbox. For this tutorial, we want to trigger this manually so that we can have a look at this in action. Um, so I'll just go into processed emails and ask it to import the latest emails I've received. And now if I open my inbox and refresh the page, you will see a draft written for every email I received, which is the new experience you're going to get every time you open your inbox. So let's have a look. Here, how can I cancel a subscription? Um, suddenly it tells me, oh, visit app.vocal.email, go to the subscription page and cancel. And the point is I've never given the AI any information manually. It just learned from my inbox and knows exactly what to answer. So I can just hit send, perfect, it's done. How can I use Vocal on my phone? Once more, it just, it just works, right? It will tell the user, oh, you need to use the Gmail app. Um, and then you have to sign up with Vocal. Um, and you should see vocal. Here it's a bit tricky uh, telling it you should see vocal in your Gmail app. But if you don't see it, you can find the add-on by searching for vocal for Gmail in the Google Workspace Marketplace, which again is true. And it just learned that because I've already answered that question in the past. So it just learned from my emails. So again, I can send that. Here, I wanna sign up. Um, complicated question, how do you answer this? Again, uh, it will just learn from, from uh, how I answered in the past and send a, a relevant answer so I can send again. And finally here, someone wants to cancel the subscription, is a bit mad. Again, same answer, it, it knows how, how to do it. And if you wanna understand the brain, the magic behind this, you can always click on the brain here to see the full prompt that was sent to OpenAI. So here, for example, you can see, uh, okay, use the tone and context from relevant similar emails to answer as best as possible. And then there is a list of emails that the AI thinks could be relevant. And then finally, uh, you get the received email. I'd like to cancel the content. How can I cancel? And then it asks the AI to respond. So it's a relatively simple um, logic, but it returns this incredible experience um, where your emails basically run on autopilot. Keep in mind, we don't send your emails. We just draft the answers. Um, we always want you to read through it, make sure it's correct, and then send or edit if necessary. You should not expect 100% success rate, um, but you should expect uh, to save hours and hours per day.